and what I would say is It's been years since I've written a Christmas poem and God knows I've grown. Since the roots that held me to the floor of my grandmother's kitchen asked for more songs about Christmas, asked for more wishes, as back then the world seemed to hold in me such esteem, a child, a Christmas. Crayons of red and green worn down to stubs, glitter pots needing topping up, Pritt stick licked baby Jesus on the head and said, Bouchie mate, sure this is great, isn't it? And how could you not love Christmas? And if you were a lucky pup, you might have got to stay up till 10 o'clock to watch Phil's and Horses with the grown-ups before Santa's shown up. And you might join forces and own up to loving those quiet moments between the chaos and pain of growing and let yourself own the feeling of being at home. So for the sake of a poem, I let in the ghost of Christmas past back before the generations shifted, back before the plate tectonics tilted underfoot, absorbed my youth and danced me to another view of Christmas. A Christmas I'd want to forget, of wishes better off, not said, best kept for another time, but not Christmas. Another glass of wine will sooner mend and put aside these gifts broken, lost in transit. Because back then, there was no shortage of wishes Lighting the candle for each little girl to take turns and every year I feel blessed with forgiveness for never quite finding that lightness within me that my grandmother had to do for my family what that old collection of adults around the tree did for me. I do my best every year to find the energy but I'm farther from collecting pine cones and counting Christmas trees than I ever wished to be. Jaded, tired and hiding the truth of what it means to me I'm scared of being cliched. I'm scared of what to say. Some part of me sighing and crying and dying to find that river to skate away. This child called Alice sat on the hearth on Christmas Day and chatted of fairies and foxes and rabbits. Those old Christmas stories encircle my soul and gather crystals like tumbling snowballs. These days, children are frozen recite with full force a message to let it go but back in my day an old snowman taught me a song about walking on air and a feeling of loss and growing older it gets colder when a hug from a coca-cola santa claus isn't enough but i remember a wealth of riches as two wee twins stirred wishes dappled with glassy cherry stars into what was to become the heart of my christmas Many hands seem to make light work of this, made magic bubbles of dirty dishes in the twilight hours. We angels silhouetted by flower are sifting skills, making a mountain range of grandma's kitchen. But she insisted that we were helping. We were told that we were good and that a message was being sent to Santa's birdies. Innocence, the rare gift our children give us at Christmas. And this is the part where I feel old because I remember before adverts told us what we have and haven't got. Told us to dig for gold somewhere other than our soul to find where Xbox marks the spot. And I can't get my head around all that lot. Skylanders, Minecraft, and a load of Lego games with freaky names like Chima and Ninjago. Thank God Santa knows what he's doing. Because trying to understand my nephew is like trying to eat through a whole Christmas pudding made of bogeys. And I feel like an old fogey, puts my head away. My nephew glued to the force all day of Star Wars and Disney Infinity Dreams of Glory on the computer screen. But despite it all, despite Christmas poems sticking in my throat saying C is for, despite the ways in which we all fail to do what we need to do because we've got the flu and it doesn't help when the radio has no new words for do they know. As Bono belts out another, thank God, in every chock-a-block shopping mall. But despite it all, I will think of the time I asked my parents about Santa Claus. When I asked them if he was real. And they said, the spirit of Christmas is real. If you let it be, if you feel the love. So under the tree, I'll put this poem and pray that it's enough to lighten the load and pull me through.
and I'll try and brave the shops to find that game for my nephew and pray that I survive the queues and I'll stop for a moment at City Hall and think of all the times my father took me to see the lights and read me the night before Christmas before turning out the light. Christmas Eve is nearly upon us and Santa's sleigh will soon take flight and I'll miss the Continental Market even though it was overpriced. And whatever pulls you through and makes your Christmas bright, I hope that you can find it against the coldest nights. To the boozers on your Christmas dues, I hope you get home all right. Ring in the new to comfort you and have a sparkling night. Have a happy Christmas, one and all, and to all, a peaceful. <laughs>